here collecting some field boy soil. We had a nice heavy rain over the weekend, so it didn't really rain yesterday. It hasn't rained today yet, okay. So you can see this soil is nice and, and moist. This is a soybean field and I'm going down at least three inches. Here in this soil, you can see a little bit of the things we want to get out of it by, by sifting and everything. When you have um, little roots like this, if they're dead, they probably aren't still colonized by microbes the way they would be if they're alive. But still, we're going to be measuring the soil. So I usually mix it up a little bit. Okay. Now, this is going to have to be sifted because, as I said, I have some rocks, I have some, uh, some debris and stuff like that. So I'm going to, when I get to where I'm going to test, I'm going to sift those out. Often the question is asked, why do we require the top one to five inches? And the reason they do that is the soil microbe health depends on the nutritional level. So the, the nutrition that's most available to microbes is what has recently been deposited on the surface of the earth. And we find that in the top inches of the soil. And the top inches of the soil are much less compacted than the soil underneath. What else do microbes need besides nutrition? They need air. Okay, so once you get down to a lot of loss of air, you start losing microbes. So what we see is the number of microbes decreases as you go down in the soil. And that's why we do not recommend testing for microbes unless you're doing it in the top five inches of the soil. So why do I want field moist soil? That's because microbiometer tells you the fertility level of your field. If you have enough carbon and other nutrients, you're gonna have an, a healthy microbial population. When, that, when the soil dries, a lot of the mi microbes that are most active at that time are the ones to first die. And they are also the ones that can reproduce and be back within 12 to 24 hours after a nice rain or a drenching. So field moist is when it's been moistened when it's in the field. Now it doesn't have to be sopping wet, but if it's sopping wet, you can actually test it. That's not a problem. But you can't go out and pour some water on it and say that's field moist because it takes a while for the microbes to reconstitute. A microbe can divide every 15 minutes. That means, you know, in 24 hours, one microbe can become almost a million. So you get a huge uh, explosion of population after a rain. If and only if your nutritional conditions are adequate. So one of the big reasons to use microbiometer is you're getting a real picture of what's happening in your field.